The KTM V25 Repair Kit is a full rebuild kit for up to two Appian valve core removal tools. The kit includes O-rings for the swivel fitting, stem assembly and tool body, along with ball valve seals, valve cores, and mega seal caps. Here is a list of necessary and recommended tools for a successful repair. Begin the repair by removing the stem. Remove the O-ring from the threaded body swivel fitting. Remove the access port cap. Loosen and remove the handle screw. Next, remove the handle. Remove the valve core in the access port. Remove the quarter inch male flare fitting with two three quarter inch wrenches. Remove the outer ball valve seal. Take care to avoid damaging the ball valve. Remove the ball valve. Inspect the ball valve for damage. If damage is found, the ball valve needs to be replaced. Next, remove the inner ball valve seal, taking care to avoid damaging the sealing surfaces. Remove the valve stem. Remove the screw and magnet from the stem. Be careful not to drop or damage the magnet during disassembly. First generation VCRTs have a pin instead of a screw. This pin needs to be removed to disassemble the stem. Remove the stem base and threaded fitting. Remove the large O-ring from the threaded stem fitting. Remove the O-ring spacer. Remove the inner double O-rings. Remove the O-ring from the quarter inch male flare fitting. Remove the valve stem O-rings. Lubricate the new O-rings with clean vacuum pump oil. Install the new O-rings on the valve stem. Lubricate the stem base O-rings with clean vacuum pump oil. Install the new O-rings into the stem base. Use the blunt end of a ballpoint pen to help seat the O-rings. Reinstall the O-ring spacer. Lubricate the new O-ring with clean vacuum pump oil. Install the O-ring into the threaded stem fitting. Use the blunt end of a ballpoint pen to help seat the O-ring. Reinstall the threaded stem fitting, then the stem base. Add a small drop of blue thread locker to the magnet screw. Tighten the magnet screw. Be careful not to over tighten the magnet as it can break. Lubricate the new O-ring and install onto the male flare fitting. 
Lubricate the new O-ring for the swivel fitting. Install the O-ring into the swivel fitting. Use a second VCRT to fully seat the new O-ring. Reinstall the valve stem into the tool body. Use the handle to rotate the valve stem into a vertical position. Install the inner ball valve seal. Use the blunt end of a ballpoint pen to help seat the inner ball valve seal. Align the slot on the ball valve with the valve stem to install. Use the handle to close the ball valve. Install the outer ball valve seal and seat with a pen. Reinstall the quarter inch male flare fitting. Fully tighten with two three quarter inch wrenches. Reinstall the handle with the long end toward the quarter inch flare fitting. Add a small drop of thread locker to the handle screw. Install a new valve core into the access port. Check the tension of the adjustable tip. To do this, grip the core with the stem to see if it holds. Reattach the stem. Install the new cap. After the repair is complete, you will need to perform an isolation test to ensure the tool is properly holding a seal. Refer to our isolation test video for the step-by-step -step procedure. With this repair, your valve core removal tool can be restored back to working like new. If you have any questions about a repair, don't hesitate to reach out to Appian directly.